I mean, I mean, I, I'm, I'm here to meet one person, just one person in Ghana who disagrees with the fact that this is yet one of our finest, most versatile lyricists, rappers we have in this general music. I'm here to meet just one person. Ah, 51, 52, 53, 204, 2001, 4,000, 5,000, 3,000, 4,000, for last, 3,500. You have done, and we will not wait till you are 92 and we will say it at your funeral. We will say it now whilst you are here. That you are one, and I don't know about decoration, I don't know about plants, I don't know about words, but you deserve it all in our hearts. We agree that you've done it all. Thank you, thank you. Thank yeah, good to have you on again. Shale, always, my brother. I need to stop coming close to you. Uh, people. People respect me. Uh, Anika, I don't know if this is a compliment <laughs> or an insult, but we'll take it like that. People respect me. I, I have to let you know. Yeah. But when I come next to you... Achami Kami is one of the voices that told me to go back to school, though. Let me just say, put that on record. Yeah. And uh, we are proud of you. Thank you. We are happy uh, uh, about this journey. There's so many things you do. I don't know if people tell you this enough, but even your social responsibilities your environmental engagement, engagement with even people at the highest of tables, talking about how you can, in your own small way, be that agent of change. For me, it speaks a lot about your complete package as an artist. Thank you. Yeah. You just got back from uh, India. India. Yes. India. Where you went to? We went to have a conversation about saving soil. Saving the soil. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Uh, you're thinking that this, today's world, it should be one of the things you should be concerned about? I mean, you, you, you know that the most important thing to you is your life. Mm -hmm. And if you are looking for only one thing to represent your life, it is air. It True. is oxygen. True. Oxygen comes from trees. Yeah. Trees sit on the soil. They, feed, they get their life from that. Exactly. Soil. So if you don't save the soil, we kill the tree, we kill the oxygen, we kill ourselves. BC for your friend with life cycle. Why? One more church for BC. And now it's too late. Most when you attend to what you need to do that. Uh, a friend with life cycle, over exam, session B. So it's, it's, very, uh, it's very important. You know that uh, almost every five minutes, the, the, the land the size of an Olympic sports stadium uh -huh. loses 80% of its nutrients. 80%? Yes, through bush. Human activities? Okay. Yes, human activities, bushfires, drought, you know, cutting down of trees, deforestation, profit, profiteering, yeah. and, and, and the other. So it is important that we pay attention to soil as we keep having a conversation on climate change and sustainability. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. So that's why you were invited. I saw you to be one of the few Africans there. Yes, uh, yes, yes. I, I think I, I was, watched the full documentary. Yes, I was the only African in there. So people came from Italy, wow. from Sweden, Switzerland, UK, India. Most of them were from India. Mm. And um, what, we, what do you tell them? What do you tell them about Ghana? When do you have that platform? When it's your turn to speak? What do you tell them about Ghana? In connection with, with yeah. um, our activities uh, to help the world, make the, be uh, the world a better place. Well, I, I, I tell you, I've been around, and the most beautiful thing about Ghana and Ghanaians is that we are very peaceful. Yeah. And you know that peace is not the, the absence of conflict. Yeah. True. It is the presence of order. True. You know, so for a group of people who are so peaceful, it means a lot of us have a lot of order. Mm. You know, so... When they see the statistics on how peaceful we are, they are, they are enchanted. Right. Well, we, apart from the peace, we also talk to them about how hopeful it is yeah. that a Ghana Education Service and our president mm -hmm. is very interested in greening Ghana. Yeah. You know, so I think for about four years, the Green yeah. Ghana project has been ongoing and it is affecting students, affecting children, mm. and people are being encouraged to plant trees. And it's a yearly thing, which, go, you know, so once we show them all that, they. They, they are At least happy. we are doing something. We are, doing, we are not to just save sitting the world. Down. We are not just sitting down, yes. going for meetings and taking fat allowance. We are mm. actually doing something. Yes. I love that. It's Congrats not... to you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And also to you and YP, 14 years. 14. No big joke. I tell you. What did you do right? Well, I, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. My, my, fat, my, my wife's parents did well. <laughs> you know, so, Why? so they nurtured mm -hmm. a very cultured, respectful woman. Yeah, you know, God-fearing woman mm. who takes my nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how far. That's, that's, that's why. How far, that's, that's why. <clears throat> that's why we've You're not my... taking any credits? Oh, no, no, not at all. <laughs> I mean, if there are credits to be given, I'll give it to my wife's parents and uh -huh. my parents. Oh, okay. Because my parents also stayed work. together mm. for 23 years until my father died. No matter what. No matter 
what the troubles were. Mm. They didn't run away. They stayed together. Yeah. And I saw at first hand first. how it feels like to be in a relationship, whether easy or difficult, staying there for the purposes of love, the vows, and the children. Mm. So, love, the, the, vows, the, the vows, and, and the, the children. children. So whilst I have my own vows, I have my own love, and I have my own children, I know the sacrifices I'm supposed to make so that I can keep that, you know, that balance yeah. for purposes of love, vows, and the children. I love it. You're, you're such a model, whether you're aware of it or not. You're a model in this space, you and your partner. Cash. And uh, you, you, you don't hesitate to show that side of you to the rest of the world. You are happy to flaunt your lover. I know, you've yeah. done this consistently, especially during <clears throat> vow season for a while now. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, see, my mother gave birth to me, mm. obviously. I don't have a contract with her to treat her nice. Mm. That the government has one, yeah. and I have one. Yeah. And, you know, my mom has one. It's only with my wife, the whole world. I've signed a contract to treat one person nice. That's, right. the whole world. That's my wife. I mean, so if I cannot honor that contract, then who am I? Some woman is watching us right now. Why are you talking what qualifies you to be a counselor? Because our interview yesterday, <laughs> no, two days ago on radio, went viral. It did. It did. Are these things you learned the hard way, or you were taught, or you read around it, or you put it uh, work just to study your partner and make your home a happy one? So, so hmm, very interesting question. So, I think it's a, it's a, it's a combination, combination of, all of this everything. But the most important thing is observation. At a point, I had to stop whatever I was doing, to observe the things that help me to thrive, what are the trappings of my mind, and what are the trappings of my society. Mm -hmm. And after observing these three, I realized that the society has lied to me a lot. Mm. Oh, yes. The society tells me that I'm the man. Yeah, the head of the family. The head of the family. And then my the wife. The final say. Yes, my wife should respect my authority, and that God has given me. And then I got married for six years, and I realized that... Mm, I tested the waters, it was shark infested. Mm -hmm. Because when I was marrying my wife, I was seeking to marry a short, akan woman that I was going to dominate. Then I realized that she's dominating me. <laughs> so, so don't go there, she says, I'm coming from there. You know, so at a point, I need to stop and yeah. reevaluate yeah. my identity as a Ghanaian man, mm. my roles in the society, and the heart that the society had given me mm -hmm. to find out whether it is true or not. And after re-evaluating it and looking within myself, mm. I realized that mm, the society has lied to me because the same society or that I am in, it's mm -hmm. not the same one that my father was in. Thank you. Because my father's father was in a colonial era mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or the, the Who's, slavery yeah. era. My father was in the colonial era. I am free. So we don't have the same influences. Therefore, how she curated her marriage and her lifestyle shouldn't be the same way I am doing mine, mm. else it will bring, go wrong. Bring problems, yeah. yeah. And so after observing all those things, I decided to live my life how I want it. Okay. And that was when I got the freedom to express myself without the presence of the past. Wow. Yes. So you would admit that some of these things that they spoke about still run through every marriage? Oh, of course. And you would admit also that, yeah, there is a temptation for you as maybe the major provider in the home to flex your muscles a little bit it's true. but there's always that point where you get to appreciate your partner not just a wife but someone who is arriving at a destination together i'm Come telling you i'm telling you mm. first you know um when we had our second child my wife was working corporate yeah. girls yeah. ghana yeah. unilever yeah. and then she, after the second child she said you know what i want to take care of the kids and do business maybe review contracts yeah. and do sales law, law, law. yes mm. but i want to stay home okay. instead of just you know pursuing my so my career months. goals mm. and so when i was the one that's bringing the money at a point it gave me S. some authority some voice yes then i really evaluated it to realize that okay i am bringing money she's nurturing children to be well integrated in the society yeah. which of these two roles is more important Raising kids and looking for money. Then I realized that it is raising kids, but my ego won't let, allow me. So mm -hmm. I decided to put it at the same level. Yeah. So she is raising the children mm -hmm. and nurturing them 
to have empathy, mm -hmm. to have sympathy. Building a complete human. A, a complete mm. human mm. being that is well integrated, you know, who is composed. You know, so then I stopped lauding my financial, you know, contribution to the home over here. Mm -hmm. And since I lowered my egos mm -hmm. and stopped pretending I'm the boss and that she should call me Mira, and we became great friends. And now she can tell me that your breath stinks. Friendship. Yes. Very it, important. I'm telling you. Friendship. So it's possible for you to be married to someone who is not your friend. Uh, yes, it is. It's very possible. Especially if you go into the marriage with the presence of the past, looking at the way your father married your mother. Mm. Because my, my father would just come home. And I, all the 23 years or 22 years that I lived with my parents, I never saw them hug once. So my hug? Senior, once. So my senior brother and I used to wonder. Hey, Mr. Juma, you're how, watching right now. Have you had your wife before? Eh? How did these people make us? Let me find out my father. Because I don't see him. I don't see him. He's watching. So how did they have you? Yeah, that's the thing. You know, so... In they had indoors. Exactly. Mr. Juma. <laughs> you continue. I will get him. <laughs> eh? So, so the, the tenants are, are different. Mm. And when, when I lowered my ass mm. of I'm the man, I'm older, yeah. I'm yeah. a chairman, yeah. it's different. When I'm doing something stupid, she can tell me this is stupid. Yeah. And well, they it, signing. Exactly. And it bends so much that I stopped doing it. Wow. You know, so it depends. It is not the same everywhere. But at home, I think that the most valuable thing that I have had for my relationship. Peace of mind. It, no, no, no peace of mind. Is that my wife has the power to tell me what I'm doing is wrong. Mm. And in that case, I get to observe things that I'm doing without even looking at it. So it's just my eye. Wow. Yes. And on that background, you are putting together this show for lovers and singles who believe in love. Yes. To just show up this Saturday tomorrow at plus 233. Time is exactly 9 p.m. right now. So 9 p.m. tomorrow Pepe. is start time. Sa you're bringing together all your friends. Yes. And then you're telling me it's not going to be an, uh, just a regular performance. Not at you all. You drink and go. It's an experience. It's an experience. Tell us a love more. lockdown experience. So love lockdown, lockdown experience. experience. Tell us so more. It's conversations. We are going to ask people uh -huh. to tell us the dumbest things they've done for love. What, what is the dumbest thing you've done for love? I painted uh, a story building myself. Like Anansi. Hey, Yaza. I, I, pa I painted the whole building. Then the, the next day, the girl and her mother introduced me to the girl's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we are like, what? See, it's even like they didn't call him. Oh, delivery guy, no menu. Hi. Or the Yaba. Yeah, that's, that's a serious. That is the dumbest thing. So you didn't end up marrying her? Oh, not at all. Oh. So those things, we are looking at some celebrities. Um, mm -hmm. Ajeta Anand. I'm going to be there. Wife, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you and your wife, Thank Ajay Tana and the I'm wife, wife Reggie Rockstow and the wife, uh -huh. Kofi and the wife, uh -huh. and they are going to, we have a video of them telling us about the good, the bad, and the very ugly. <laughs> you, 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 you can't. And then we have music. That's right. And then part of the music, we are, we are also going to look at how to resolve um, problems in a, in, in, a, in a marriage or in your relationship. So it's a whole it's counseling, a, exactly. uh, performances, bonding. Bonding, we have Rhyme Sonny mm. on poetry. Mm -hmm. We have Nana Sase, Wonderful. we have Miss V, mm -hmm. we have Sina Soul, we have a free year. Hey, free year. A free year myself. Thank and you. it's just love. Everything is about love. That's right. You know, and it, it's, it's going to be beautiful. We're also going to do a draw and someone might win something Something major. Yes. Uh, what is the commitment? I know your, your yes. shows are either 300 or 200. Oh, it's, it's only 200. Ah. Yes. It's only, so, so when you are coming, don't forget to bring your business card because that's what we're going to use for the draw. Oh, the draw. Yes. So you come with a business. If you don't have it, you're allowed to write your number on a card, a small card, and then just bring and it just drop for it. that draw. Yes. I would love to be there, guys. And again, it's happening at plus 233. Please get the location right. And please, for Achami Kwame concerts, when they say 9 p.m., is 9 p.m. Uh, <laughs> yes, and uh, looking at the venue, we cannot take more than 2,000. No, oh, no. The venue exactly. Is, is 600. Even, uh, yes, 600, 600 people. Yes. So maybe uh, for that 9 p.m., if you get there at 8 o'clock with your chilled Casaprek, you understand? Just enjoy something small. Maybe I will call for strawberry. And now your storm, or even if it's awake, just ask for ice. Uh, anything you want. My sister here will run you. Small settings. Baby, your love. Now you can uh, put the kids to bed early. Come and then at least take your husband out on a date. And, or take your wife out on a date. For three, four hours only. 
come and embrace love. It's beautiful. And you see, this is a journey that you need to be hearing other people to keep you going. And uh, Chami Kwame, you've, you've, you've done so well for yourself with this love thing. I mean, Thank you. Yeah, when we heard your story and a lot of... I, mean, I had someone who has been married for longer than you. So many. Me that he's learned a lot of things from that interview. Yeah. That, that, the interview was beautiful. Yeah. But you asked difficult questions. I try. You ask laughing. Yeah, you make it silly, laughing, but it is but still a difficult uh, question. Say, uh, yeah, say, yeah, uh, school. <laughs> yes, we say, uh, now uh, what the HR Kobon exam. See ya. <laughs> but we love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Before Thank you. we let you go, though, maybe you want to talk to your fans, talk to them about tomorrow. Also, Again. tomorrow, um, Love Lockdown is an experience. You know, it's a book, it became a song. Mm -hmm. Now it's an event. Mm -hmm. The next thing is that it's going to become a movie. Mm -hmm. But before it's a movie, let us stay with the event. I so love that. I want you to come and have an amazing time with us. That's right. And you come and share your experiences, bring your loved one. Um, let's have fun. I, I know it will be beautiful, so come and be a part of it. It's, it's going to be beyond just a concert. You will love it, I promise you. That's Money right. back guarantee. I love that. Money yeah. back. And uh, someone says, hi, Giovanni, please. Before he leaves, ask him about the hip life documentary. I was hoping to hear his voice see him in there but he was uh, he was ignored in that story <laughs> ignored. please hey, ignored <laughs> I, I, you have, to, have you seen the documentary yes i have okay yes i i think that the whole the hip, bbc one yes i've seen it okay I, I don't think that the whole the whole hip life story can be told in 30 minutes okay and so this is the first one they are showing and the, reggie is the hero and i think it's right it is of course, people are expecting that they would have seen Sako De, Achiame, Boom Back, VIP, and the rest. But that is not the story that BBC told. Mm. The, the take home for me is that Moon mm -hmm. TV3, you have cameras, you have storytellers, you have graduates from NAFTI. Yeah. Moon uh -huh. I think that it is really wrong for me as a Ghanaian to sit here and hope that BBC will tell a story. And include me. But it was a Ghanaian that a Ghanaian at the BBC that did that. But it was BBC that asked the Ghanaian to do it. <laughs> so they have an agenda, obviously. I like that. Yes, and don't forget that these people have colonized us before. <laughs> and when people love you, they don't colonize you. You know, so oh, Chami, do you <laughs> say some of this is on those platforms you go? Because you are there with them, you're colonizers. They're oh, looking they're, at you. So you know we are forgiving them, but yeah. it still doesn't erase yeah, the fact. True. You know, so Okay. <laughs> Quick one. Giovanni, please ask Ochami Kwame about his engagement with the UN and the Ministry of Gender as well. And uh, also, what about his brand makes him appealing to all these people? What do you think is that unique selling point about the brand Ochami Kwame? I think, I mean, this is going to be a little arrogant, but okay. because he asked. Yeah. I think it's about authenticity. You know, when you are authentic, People know what to expect from you when they are dealing with you. That's mm. the first one. Mm. The second one is professionalism. Okay. You know, because people who are working with you and UNICEF and all these people, they work on time. Yeah. They want things delivered in a certain way. Yeah. They are looking for a particular impact. You know, so if you have the management and the mindset to also operate at that wavelength, it is quite easy for them to work with you. I, I think that the, the next thing is also about the things that I have done in the past, my mm. track record you know so i have a, a number a good number of people on social yeah, media who yeah, follow thank yeah. you guys for following that's right i i have a good track record i've worked with um, the world bank i've worked with climate clock i've worked with um and i've worked with a lot, a lot of, of insurance companies yes organizations <laughs> yeah. have been ambassador for tvet yeah. and ambassador for mtn for coca-cola so because of the track record they are they feel safe when they work with me because they know that i will deliver as i delivered so I think that is... That yeah, host of, of recovery reasons. stories too. Exactly, uh -huh. that's insurance. That's why you're presenting, why you're... Yeah, yeah, why you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you're yeah. Nanada? Yeah. Nanada. I can't nah. hear <laughs> Thank you so much, my big brother. Thank you. Always Thank a pleasure to hang around with you. Tomorrow we're coming for that Intimate Fest, yeah? I, I can't wait to see you. The 9 p.m. again is plus two three three thank you all we'll be right back with more we have lyrical joe we have uh, a host of others we're gonna have hey let me introduce my guy before we go for this commercial break we have junior justice who will be here just doing his thing come come quickly come quickly just come to the is that's a canvas he's the first he says he's the first guy who draws with fire yeah his artwork everything is with fire yeah uh-huh 
So yeah, he does he does stuff with fire. If I got to manage, okay, you have mic, you have mic. Uh, with fire. So the name again is yes, quickly before the break. The name is Junior Justice. Junior Justice, the fire artist. The fire artist. So you're going to be putting something together for us right here. Yeah, sure. All right. Sure. Can you finish before the show ends? Yeah, you have less finish. than an hour. Yeah, we can. You can do that. Sure. All right. Let's have your social media handle. Okay, I'm on Instagram as Junior Justice. Uh -huh. and that's called the Fire Artist. Who in fire you take start? Who in fire? What, what, what vexes you? Well, how you start? Who, who are you? Fire. What's the name of your ex? Who born you? What's your mother? What's your daddy? What happened? Which, which side of the economy drove you there? What were you doing? What did you study in school before? We'll find out all that after the break. Stay on, guys. <laughs>